Hello, my friends. This is very urgent. I have a friend of mine who I've had on Facebook for three years. He lives in Seattle, Washington. He is one person that is stuck with 8,000 American citizens in a six block long, densely populated area. And he says, after I put this on air, he has to delete his Facebook because of Antiva or any of them. And they're going house to house now, kicking in doors and harassing people. He says, after I make this statement to tell the world what is going on in the concentration camp that is now set up on American soil by Antiva and Black Lives Matter, he said he has to delete his Facebook and get it out and actually destroy his phone because if they find out that he's in contact with people outside, they kill him or beat him up. Now, he has witnessed, he said Antifa, these sissy liberals, cross-dressing sissy liberals with Black Lives Matter thugs by their side are going door to door, kicking the door in. They're not knocking, they're kicking the door in while people are in their homes. They're telling people to pay them reparations, to give them money. They're looting their houses while the people watch and the kids scream and there's nothing they can do. Today alone, 4,000 calls to the police department came and the police can't do nothing about it because the liberal mayor won't let them. Meanwhile, men and women and children are being sodomized and raped by these liberal sissies. This is all very real and it's going on today in an American city that has been overtaken by terrorists. My friends today, we cannot wait for the government to act. We cannot wait for the federal government to act. We must stop this. This is good and if they can get by with it one city, they're gonna do it again. My friend said that he witnessed looking out his apartment, he has a small apartment, he looks down and he sees rows of men. Some are dressed as women queens with black lives matter black men coming up to people's houses and if you resist and they and they'll beat the crap out of you many people are bleeding today in their houses many people have lost everything in their houses they're made to pay reparations and money what little they have is gone and your pride is next they uh, my friend said he witnessed he heard a man scream he was with his wife and children and the man told them to get out. They overpowered him and they raped him in front of his wife and children. That's what's going on in America. He said he heard the black guy saying, we're doing to you what you have done to us for years. This is Antiva. This is the real Black Lives Matter. Woe unto you churches and you businesses today, donating money to Black Lives Matter. That really don't. They could care less about any other black person but themselves. They are wreaking havoc and injustice in America. We have a Nazi concentration camp going on in the United States right now, and we need to do something about it. Trump needs to send in the federal troops and just open fire because these aren't Americans anymore. When you take over our land, you take over our cities, our people, you throw the government out and the police out, you are no longer an American and you have no rights and, you're, and your life really does not matter anymore in my eyes. We need to go in there and send troops and start sniper firing everybody. Get them out of there. We have eight to 9,000 people trapped in a city. Stuff that only movies are made of. Trapped in New York City. It's actually a live event today. Things are getting worse. And the more this goes on, the more these little freaks think it'll be all right to do it in Jacksonville or in Cleveland or in Texas. And they're getting ready to do it. You know, they're trying to hit small town USA. President Trump withstood an overthrow of the government by the Democrat liberals, all right? And a collusion of, by the Democratic liberals. It has been made comments for the last three years that the Democrats want power by any means. And they're getting it. This is a Democratic run riot with liberals running around cross-dressing many women and Black Lives Matter who have always wanted to get a little payback. Now they have a city in the grips of their hands and police are on every street corner but can't go in. And a Democratic liberal mayor says, they're just having a festival. They may be having a festival, but the people stuck in their homes are being tortured and abused. And we won't know the full implications until it's all over and people start coming out and telling, I was raped, I was robbed, I was beat up, my daughter was killed. Things are going on in that city and we need to know what's going on and we need to just send the troops in there and mow them over. I don't care if we have another Waco. If that would have been a Christian compound, the government would have no problem with blowing it up or any other for that matter. We are in a crisis in America. It's getting out of hand 
and it's got to stop. My fellow Americans and patriots, do not wait for these thugs and liberals to come down your neighborhood. You need to go to them. Shalom, everybody. It's getting very dangerous out there. America, we've been invaded. We've been actually taken over by hostile forces. Never in my life would I ever thought that. Had China did it, Russia did it, Cuba did it, and the open-ended war. Even if Islamic radicals had come in here and did that, it would be open war. But yet we got liberal thugs out there now under the guise of Black Lives Matter hurting people, taking over a city. And it's just one city, one city at a time. This is how it's starting. Meet them, fight them. I'm serious, this is getting bad. Just because you're at home right now and you feel peace and you can watch the TV and you're not hearing the winds of war, the winds of war are there and you can't see the smoke, you can smell it. It's getting closer and closer and by the time we wake up and do something about it, it is going to be too late. This country is already divided, has been divided. Any sympathy that the Black Lives Matter or even the black cause had won in the last 60 years went right out the window because this is not what it was Martin Luther King or anybody was truly about. Seriously. As far as Martin Luther King, don't get me started on him. He was a communist, so I don't care. Shalom, everybody. Bye. What's going on, everybody?